Hi, hello, this is Largy Fireball from Savvy Gaming here, bringing you my first video. This is going to be a quick tutorial on somewhat wireless redstone. I say somewhat because about an hour explain later why I say somewhat. So you see we got a light over there, and I can just whoop, click that, it's off. Whoop, click that, it's on. Whoa, amazing. So for you that are familiar with command blocks or such you will see that it says block placed right there in the chat and if you you know you're kind of catching on oh he's using that blah, 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 then you can pretty much quit the video right now if not then i will show yous that are not very familiar with him and blocks or don't understand what i'm doing right now what i'm doing how i'm doing it like the logic of it and then we'll build another one over here so basically you can see right here that there are no wires at the output except a redstone block. So basically what that means is this right here is our whole output. And how that works is you see when I click it, it this acts as a basically a lever. It turns into glass, so no redstone. When I click it again, it turns into a redstone block, it's on. So how I did this we got our button right here, the button, though once again, redstone familiar, you'll see right here, I got a sticky piston in the ground, which makes a redstone sh pulse shortener. So I click the long pulse, turns into a short one. When a sticky piston receives less than, I believe it's a one tick pulse, so that being an extremely quick pulse like the one right there, I'm not sure, even sure if you guys can see that. You saw a very, very quick and brief flash. It doesn't actually, you know, because usually it would, you know, push the block out and then bring it back. But it just push the block out and then bring it back. So what that then does is we have this is essentially a T flip flop. And over here we got the power going through. If it's over here, that means it sets the block to glass. But when you flick the lever button switch again. It comes back, so the redstone signal comes here, goes through the block, and then comes over to our thing, and here's the actual command. Set block, and then the coordinates here, so X, Y, Z, and then the ID here, and I'm getting used to the new ID, so we got Minecraft, coal, and redstone underscore block. You could, um, you could also use a redstone torch, but I haven't actually tested that. And then, of course, when it goes over here, you got set block, it's going to say coordinates, Minecraft glass, which is set to glass. So, when it's that redstone, boom, light is on, because it emits redstone and turns the light on. When it's that glass, glass, it's just, you know, not the redstone item. So, it doesn't matter. And that's pretty much it. And this brings me to why I said that it was a kind of wireless system because for the button yeah there's wires right here all this wires see wire 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 piston repeater light wire but over here no wires and the reason I found this would be useful is not obviously not in survival situation because you need command blocks but this will be useful for uh, map makers and such and in case you guys didn't know the command to get a command block is give and your username and this would be the new ID Minecraft colon command underscore block and then the amount so you say one. If you leave the amount empty then it just automatically gives you one. So now let's move on to actually building this. So here you're gonna have your input, which is going to come out, go to the redstone pulse shortener, and you have to have the block on top. It has to come out of the repeater. So you see you click boop, goes over really fast to come down. So, get a repeater, bring it out at this side. Okay, we're just gonna run our wire over here a bit. Uh, one more block out. And then you're just, you can only use one torch, well you can use two torches. Both repeaters have to have power. I actually did this wrong. Get this going. That will go to your piston. Which will then go to this. So you get that. And then you're going to have to have repeaters receiving the signal from the block over here. 
and then you can have it go to your command blocks. So over here we'll have the command block set with the glass, or rather redstone glass, doesn't really make a difference. And then here you have the set block command between the redstone or glass, the opposite of what you put it on the other command block. And that's pretty much it. So let's just have it say, I don't know, glass, and then redstone block. So then you'll see, I flick it, then it says, that's silly, what did that just do? See, glass, now it's glass, and I'm going to click it again to be redstone block, and then glass, and redstone block, glass, redstone block. And this is pretty much the same setup I have over here, except, you know, it's a tiny smidge bit huge bigger. <laughs> And I got a wall and a door and I probably should have went through there and stuff. So that's all I got for you this tutorial. Please leave in the comments if you'd like to see anything else. Redstone, command block, or even just a general Minecraft tutorial on any subject in Minecraft. Outside, inside, not modding because I'm no good at that. But anything, installing mods even I can help, texture packs, all that. If you need any help just give me a shout in the comments. So remember to like this comment, favorite it if possible, and yeah, so I will see you guys next time.